Um, the United States is running concentration camps on our southern border. And that is exactly what they are. They are concentration camps. A clean, modest, and comfortable room for three immigrant boys who've had a harrowing journey. 46 boys live in this 18-bedroom house. Many have to be taught some of the most basic life skills. I got, I like, we can have, okay, whatever. I want to talk to the people that are concerned enough with humanity to say that we should not, that never again mean something, and that, um, the fact that concentration camps are now an institutionalized practice in the home of the free is extraordinarily disturbing. Um, and one of its primary roles is to house unaccompanied immigrant minors. Today, it's also sheltering children separated from their parents at the border because of President Trump's zero tolerance policy. And we need to do something about it a place that takes pride in caring for the most vulnerable and traumatized of the recent immigrants. Virginia Senator Tim Kaine was coming out of the facility as we entered. This is a high quality program. This is not just about the immigrant communities being held in concentration camps being a crisis. This is a crisis for ourselves. This is a crisis on if America will remain America uh, in its actual principles and values or if we are losing to an authoritarian and fascist presidency. There are 10 spacious houses on the complex. They have a library here, well-appointed classrooms, a soccer field, and a gym. The immigrant children are housed and schooled here. You know, I don't use those words lightly. I don't use those words to just throw bombs. Um, I use that word because that is what an administration that creates concentration camps is. Um, a presidency that creates concentration camps is fascist. And it's very difficult to say that because it is very difficult to accept the fact that that is how bad things have gotten. But that is how bad things are, have gotten. Um, They're not at all comparable, in the slightest. I think Congresswoman AOC needs to apologize, not only to the nation, but to the world. They are, they are entirely different realities. Of course she was wrong. You cannot compare to what the Nazis did in concentration camps. However, that she, herself, AOC, is using emotion, using emotion, using sympathy, to basically manipulate you to vote for her and her opinions. Okay, you look at the air, you look at you look at you look at the supposed concentration camps. They are treated better than most people who are in prison. Look, I mean you might not you might not agree with me on my viewpoint on immigration. And you know, that's fine, but you can't consider them as concentration camps. They're more, as, uh, more like attention centers. And she's literally the most biggest idiot in Congress ever. And not only just me saying it, but the right and left is saying it as well. Doing the, that kind of form of comparison is disgusting. Talk to you guys later. God bless America. I'm out.